Well, good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. I'm really calm this morning. This is the first Tuesday Thought for the Day when I haven't got a house full of boys. And I'm always really conscious when I'm doing these video recordings that I've got peace and quiet and I'm not going to be interrupted uh, by a small boy. Um, but it's strange, it's quiet. They're all at school, so praise God that the schools are back. And we really think about all the children as they settle back into a new routine again. And we think about the teachers that have done such a good job already at welcoming the children back and, and getting them more settled again. But I must say, I am really enjoying this peace, this quiet. Um, I can sit at my desk and actually hear my thoughts. It's a, it's a, wonder, it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> But anyway, this morning, I hope you are well. I hope um, the the changes that are happening in the future as we ease out of lockdown are bringing you more hope. And it's a nice feeling to think that we can travel now and see our family. I saw my mum and dad for the first time since Christmas on Friday. They came through to Dundonald and we had a barbecue in the, in the garden and it was wonderful. So it's wonderful that the travel restrictions have eased and we'll soon be able to uh, eat out again or go to a coffee shop and meet our friends, which is just lovely. But my reflection today is about uh, all the things that you have stopped doing uh, for the last year and a bit. So as COVID happened, a lot of activity stopped as we were forced to stay at home and things like that. But in your in this experience, have you realised that there was things you were doing in the past that you don't want to go back to? Do you know, our reflection in the church was that we were just too busy. We were we had so much activity, there was so much church activity that it took um, us away from things that were important. And I think everyone is reflecting in a similar way that people were just too busy, they were jumping from one thing to the next especially if you've got children always in the car, taking the kids to this event and that event. And it was a never ending cycle of activity. And I think what this period since 2020, March 2020, has given all of us is a time to take stock of our life and to decide, well, what is important and what isn't important? And certainly I'm not going back to doing some of the things that I used to do, both in my personal life and in my church life as well. What this time for me has allowed is to be able to stay close to God more because I'm not running about so much. Um, the reduced activity for me has meant that I have relearned the importance of being still and being um, present to God in prayer, spending more time in understanding God's word and keeping God's word close. Because really, these are the foundations for our life. You know, we are, if you're a Christian, you know, having Jesus at the centre of your life is really important. And if we're going so busy every day, we, we miss, we miss that. We miss what God is pointing us towards. And we're more often likely to go off in the wrong direction because we're not um, staying true to God's calling on our lives. So what activity, what busyness will you maybe not go back to? once everything is opened again, when you can go back to doing everything that you did before, will you consciously decide not to do that because you just actually want to enjoy being um, calmer and having more time to think and to pray and to worship and to bless and to enjoy and to slow down enough to give thanks to God. Well, we've been thinking about this as a church and our reflection on Sunday in the service was that probably because of too much church activity in the past, we pushed out prayer. Prayer being that vital channel of communication between us and God. So we're not going to do that again. We're going to go back to church, hopefully together as a family of faith, which will be wonderful. But we'll just enjoy the simple things, the simple pleasures of being back together again. We don't need to be doing all that activity that we once did. So that's my wee thought today that what is it that you have stopped doing in this lockdown period that you won't start doing again? Because these um, thoughts for the day for the last the next couple of weeks is all about how we can have more joy in our life. 
And I think we can have more joy in our life when we are staying closer to God uh, and when we're slowing down enough to hear what he wants for our life. So that's my little thought for today. Um, I hope you are well. Uh, let me know if I've triggered something in your mind about something you're not going to go back to doing because uh, you've realised it wasn't important or it uh, wasn't adding any value or, you know, just let, let us know your thoughts on this matter. It'd be good to hear from you. But I hope Tuesday is good to you and um, take some time out and just say thank you to God for the blessings that you do have. And I'll stay, see you soon. Bye bye.